Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It is Uncle Mad here today. We are in East Nashville to check out another highly rated local Nashville restaurant. We're going over here to Shotgun Willie's, which has been rated one of the top barbecue spots in Nashville. I've been wanting to check it out for a while, but haven't got the chance. Finally had a free afternoon that brought me over to this part of town, so I figured let's get some barbecue, let's check out, let's see how it is, if it matches the hype. All right, so we got our barbecue from Shotgun Willie's. Found a nice little spot to eat it. I did not get a fork from mac and cheese. That was stupid of me, but that's what I got. I got the brisket sandwich with the queso mac and cheese. Kept it simple, just kind of your standard barbecue meal here. I'm gonna have to figure out how to eat this mac and cheese since I didn't get a fork. That was stupid on my part for not checking here. But uh, barbecue or Shotgun Willie's is kind of your standard like uh, old school like barbecue shack they're open from like 11 to 3 or when they run out of food which they do quite frequently so get in early for your lunch orders uh, my mom actually told me she thinks they're moving to a bigger location sometime soon that's uh the word on the street my mom should actually probably be the one that has like a things to do in nashville all things nashville vlog because like especially like old school stuff like that like she ain't going to broadway or anything like that but she seems to have her ear on the pulse and stuff so if they are moving to a bigger location you heard it here first second hand from uncle mad's mom Let's try our brisket sandwich. Like, look at this thing. That looks pretty good right there. Can't wait to give it a bite. Here we go. Bone apple teas. Mmm. I also didn't get any napkins. That was probably also dumb. Mmm. Oh, that is a really solid brisket sandwich, though. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. We're going to try the mac and cheese. I'm using the lid. <laughs> of the ramekin that my barbecue sauce came in as my support today. That is a very solid mac and cheese. I think it looks like there's a little bit of pimento in there. Got a little bit of spice to it. Mm. I'm enjoying this. This is not bad at all. Could use a fork. Probably need a napkin though. <laughs> All right, so just finished up our meal. It was delicious. I gotta say, Shotgun Willie's is right up there with my favorite barbecue places in the Nashville area. And I might give it a little bit of an edge just because it's one of the few that still has that kind of old, like traditional barbecue shack vibe. You know, Martin's, I was going there back in the day when it was just a little hole in the wall in Nolensville. It's gotten a little bigger, a little corporate now, but I mean, the food's still good, but some of that old, like, uh, ambiance is kind of gone from Martin's these days and you, you don't get that same thing when you go to a place like Edley's or even Jim and Nick's some of the other really good barbecue places that I like um, so check on Willie's really good brisket sandwich was great mac and cheese was good even though I had to eat it with the lid because I'm a dummy and didn't get a fork um, but yeah if you're in the East Nashville Inglewood Inglewood area for lunch looking for some barbecue don't drive by shotgun Willie's it is a great place I really enjoyed my meal there and I will be back thank you for always watching but i don't know if you always watch or not but as always thank you for watching if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel turn the bell on for notifications so you never miss an update we will have more to come and until then enjoy your life bonus content wanted to share some quick uh barbecue history for uncle matt here many moons ago i worked at jim and nick's barbecue and at that time pat martin martin's barbecue was a little shack in nolan so i kind of alluded to this earlier in the video but we knew the people that ran Martin's. We knew the people that ran Jim and Nick's. We used to get to go to Martin's, hang out with Pat. He'd let us have ribs and wings fresh out of the smoker. Delicious, great. Wish I'd kind of kept in that circle because I might be like, <laughs> I might be a master smoker at some point. I know if I'd stayed in the Pat Martin circle of trust, but uh, moved on to other things and that's not important here or there. But uh, I want to show this funny story that uh, I always think back to when I try barbecue and try to rate barbecue. First time we ever went to Martin's, with me, a buddy I worked with, and a buddy of ours who was a manager at Jim and Nick's, and our buddy was a certified Kansas City barbecue judge. And he ordered everything on the menu at Martin's because he's like, I, well, I, I'm a certified barbecue judge. I have to judge everything. I have to get everything. And he got the whole menu at Martin's, which was awesome for us because we got to sample everything too. But it was just funny watching him critique it through like a certified barbecue judge's eyes. And I remember, I'll always remember one of the few things he was very critical of that Martin's did was they left the membrane on the back side of the spare ribs. Like apparently like in judging circles, you're supposed to take the membrane off. And the other thing he always said that is like contrary to what most people think about barbecue is, most people think of ribs are like, I really want some fall off the bone ribs. In his opinion, and his, he's a certified barbecue judge, if the meat falls off the bone on ribs, that means it's overcooked. So 
food for thought, a little background, a little history on Uncle Matt and his barbecue journey. So just wanted to add that on to the end of the vlog here. Go about your day as you were.